In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize the color and appearance of the BuddyPress notification emails that are sent out to your users when certain actions happen on the website. This is part of the BuddyPress playlist. The other videos are linked to down below in the description. They're all very helpful, so check them out. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture and customize the notification emails. I'll see you there. And this is where notifications come into you. And to go over what notifications are, we have to head back into our emails section here, which is one of the things that was added by BuddyPress. And here's a bunch of emails that happen when, or that are sent when something happens. So this first one here, membership request for group rejected. So the situation, I'll show you how to create these in a second. The recipient has requested to join a group, but their request was rejected. And that would show up here as the notification if your membership was rejected. All of these emails that you see here come pre-built inside of BuddyPress. You can go in and edit any of these. So maybe the membership request for group accepted. You can go and edit this. You can edit the text in the email. As it says at the top up here, phrases wrapped in the double curly braces are email tokens. You can learn more about them by going here. So if we open the BuddyPress codex, it gives us all of the email tokens you can use. These are the global ones they can use anywhere activity tokens there's there's a whole bunch so if you want to customize these emails a lot you can do that very easily with these tokens and then just incorporate them in your email however you want to make them you can click on add new to create a new email and in this email you type whatever it is you want to type and on the right hand side you can choose a situation that causes that email to be sent now these emails that are sent they also appear a certain way so if we click on customize let's go open this new, new tab we can see in the customizer how these emails will appear. This usually takes a few seconds to load. This is the default appearance. I haven't changed anything. This is just how the plugin figured it should look. If you click on header, you can customize the header area, the colors, the background color, all that kind of stuff. This WP PhD is pulled from the general settings. Go to general settings, and then at the very top, you name your site. So the site title right here, that is what is pulled in to here. So if you don't like what it says up here, you can change it by changing this text. So you can customize the header, you can customize the body, and then you can customize the footer. Pretty easy. Then click on save if you make any changes and want to save them. And then that template will be used for all of the emails that are sent out. And again, the emails you find under all emails, you can add as many as you want. For various things and then when a user receives one of those notifications it shows up here under the notification section. So that's all the ways to customize the notification emails. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down below this video and if you haven't done so yet click subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything and next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress and until next time keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.